Hello, my name is George and today I'm going to show you guys um, how to fix this mouse stuttering or and or chattering issue that occurs in Rainbow Six Siege. This uh, issue is highly pronounced in a higher FPS uh, scenario, so if you have a uncapped FPS, it will uh, it will make your it will exacerbate your exacerbate your issue even more. So, let's get started. First, you're going to need um, a piece of software called MSI Afterburner. And uh, once you uh, go and download that, and uh, I have another video where I show, I show you guys how to uh, cap your FPS with, using this software, MSI Afterburner. And I'll, like I said, I'll have that in the description below, and I'll have the download link in the description below. But um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to need to cap your FPS to your monitor's native refresh rate. So you're going to try to sync up your graphics card output refresh rate to the input or to the display output refresh of your monitor. And this seems to resolve the issue. Now, usually this issue happens when you're playing games like I, I, I've noticed it particularly in Rainbow Six Siege. And the reason for this is not clear, especially watching other people's YouTube uh, tutorials on how to remedy this issue. But I believe it's the game engine. And if you have a really powerful graphics card, it's going to use up your it's going to use up as many frames as your graphics cards capable of outputting. In my case, I have a 2080 Ti and my CPU is a 9900K. But even with the 9900K, I get sometimes 100% um 100 percent cpu usage uh and yeah that that i think that's the reason why it makes it so your mouse starts to chatter or stutter when you're looking around so let's see it's kind of hard to get this issue going because again i have to load my cpu till it gets to 100 percent but i can already kind of notice it right now in five seconds I can already notice it you can't you might not be able to see it on the stream but if you move your mouse really slowly it's kind of like I can tell it's just not a smooth movement and these are the settings that I'm running right now let's see go to display go to graphics so I'm running these settings right here and I guess if you load your graphics card more with like higher textures and stuff you'll get lower fps naturally but really it's kind of hard to to remedy this issue completely unless you match your monitor output your monitor refresh rate output to your to your graphics card so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go here and then I will show you how to use MSI Afterburner here real quick by doing this. So I need to close this. And then open Display Capture. And then here's my MSI Afterburner right here. So I showed you guys how to cap your monitor refresh. Or how to, how to cap your FPS um, in another video. And like I said, I'll have that in the description but I'll do this right here. It's uncapped currently, and when I have it uncapped, it goes all the way up to like 250 to 300 FPS. So I wanna cap it to, I'm using a 120 hertz monitor, so I'm gonna cap it to 120 hertz. Click enter, go back into my game. And then, let's see, I gotta go back to game capture here. And then this seems to resolve the issue completely. Now I got nothing, nothing going on except just setting the FPS cap. And then you can see I got 120 FPS showing right there. And then now it's it's completely resolved. I feel like I have much better input latency. It's just the physical aspect of the game engine that does this. And though unfortunate, it's something that we do have to deal with. Like I said, I can load higher textures and 
artificially reduce my FPS, but it's just, it's always been better and it works better, feels better. Once I have ca capped my FPS completely using MSI Afterburner's Reva Tuner Statistics server. So, that's pretty much it for today. That's all I really wanted to show you. Look at how much smoother that is. Well, at least I can tell going from, I think I was at like 250 FPS down to about 120. It's a lot smoother now. So, that's the way to do it. There are apparently other tricks and stuff, like I said, you can find on YouTube, but this seems to be the only way that I can get it fixed. And the reason for the issue is, is that 100% CPU usage, and the only reason, the only way to get down from 100% CPU usage is, is to physically cap your FPS with the FPS cap software. So that's it for today. My name is George. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't done that. Um, if you enjoy this content, please leave your comments in the comment section uh, below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. And that's it for me for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.